Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension, and when last we left off, it's safe to say that the Knights of Valor aren't having a very good day right now. Their wizard is dead, their commander is gone, and Eris has given away their sigil, the Dagger of Valor, to the one demon that he really shouldn't have in a vain attempt to save his life, the Demon Triumvate. Now possessing the one thing that it needed, it betrayed Eris immediately, stabbing him with the sigil, and then proclaiming boastfully that the knights would soon fall as they cannot defeat it. And with their cowardice consuming them, they certainly wouldn't have stood a chance, because that demon is a very special demon. The Demon Triumvate, as described in the Tome of Demonology that we recovered, is actually a demon that's existed from before the time of Mundane, and survived all this time by having split itself into multiple different components, each part looking like a demon. When one part of the Demon Triumvate is attacked, it transfers its essence into another part, thus seeming to be invincible. This is why there are demons around this island that we couldn't defeat, because that is the Demon Triumvate, and we didn't know how to best it. The way to best it is to have all parts of the demon being attacked at the same time, so there's no safe place for the essence to be transferred to. And for that, we need the help of the Knights of Valor. Fortunately, with the help of a ghost of one of the uh, people there, the sergeant guarding the door, and by goading one of the knights, we now have the help we need. I can only hope that they are able to best the two parts of the Demon Triumvate that we aren't fighting, for we are going to have at thee with the one by the shrine. We have a pretty good weapon, and we faced demons before, so let's hope that this plan works. Hello, I'm back. Let us have at thee! Here you are! Now I stab thee! Meanwhile, in another part of Valoria, it seems like... Oh, you did pretty well! That part of the Demon Triumvate is gone. What about over here? How are you doing? The sergeant seems to be holding his own, which is marvellous. And we have already slain the demon. It's gone! We actually killed it before the cutscene triggered, and so we have the Dagger of Valor, which is marvellous. We have the glyph, we have the sigil, and I know the mantra, which is Ra. So, let us place these two things down and return Valor to Britannia. There we go. And apparently we need to be on the other side of the shrine. Or here, that'll do. Speak now the mantra of Valor. The mantra is Ra. By the power of virtue, we restore valor, not only to Valoria, but Britannia at large. With this, the world is further wrenched from the Guardian's grip, and we levitate! Also, we can get some more stats, that'd be great. I would prefer some dexterity, but intelligence would be fine. Thank you! And it's done! Avatar, thou hast earned an advancement. Excellent. And it is intelligence. We'll take it, because we're going to need to use some magic pretty soon. We're definitely getting to the end game, and magic is very powerful. The camera will slowly pan, and we will grab these. Here is the Rune of Valor, and the Sigil. Let us check our stats now. We are now Heroic, Adept, and a Genius. That is a big step up from when we started our journey. 190 max health, 146 max mana, and we are a master at ranged combat. Only a journeyman with a uh, hand-to-hand. -hand. We have an apprentice skill, one-handed, journeyman two-handed, journeyman staff, and seventh circle of magic. That part is really good, because we have some spells that we need to bind. Now let us make our way back to Valoria and hope that uh, the person that was angry with us is no longer so angry. Perhaps now that Valor is back, he will realize that we had to do what we had to do to get him to fight. And hopefully the uh, sergeant survived. I mean, he did defeat the demon, otherwise the demon triumvate would not be dead but he could very well have suffered a mortal blow, much like how the final paladin did 
while he was trying to restore honour to the people of Trinzek. Now we're nearly there, also we need to look to the south at some point for that shipwreck. We really want that bow, or at the very least to try and find that bow. Alright, we're nearly at Valoria, and I wonder if all of the enemies around here have been defeated, or if they're still about. Let's have a look. Are you here? Oh, they're still here. I, I think they are uh, gonna have to put a bit of work into defeating those over time. Also, I'm going to save because this part of the game likes to crash a little bit. Let us hope it does not. First, we'll talk to you. You're alive! My most humble thanks for your aid and faith, Avatar. We defeated those enemies most handily. What shall you do now, hero? So as to follow in my brother's footsteps, I plan to train to be a knight of valor. That is a noble sentiment, Sergeant. Have you heard news of your commander? Since his flight, we have not seen him. It is possible he has left the island, but I fear the worst. A pity. I hope you find news of him soon. Go in valor, Sergeant Lambert. It looks like Lambert has a bright future ahead of him. Now let us talk to you. Uh, talking to you is a potential point where the game can crash, so let's hope it doesn't happen. Let's go around here and talk to you. Avatar, thou art indeed a true savior. Were it not for your help, we would all still be cowering like babes in these walls. I find myself shamed to think of the way I shrunk from adversity when I was needed most. Be assured, it will not happen again. I have appointed myself Sergeant Lambert's new trainer, and together we shall rebuild the legacy of the Valorian Knights. Go encourage Avatar, and know that we are grateful. Hurrah! He's not mad at us, and that's good, because you have an awesome helmet. I wouldn't want someone with an awesome helmet being mad at me. Now, let us quickly go and talk to you, and see if the uh, person selling equipment also has something to say. First, we need to find a way to, there we go, actually get in. These doors are rather finicky. Hello! We couldn't save your husband, but we have avenged him. And you have nothing to say. Okay, fair enough. What about you? I knew you'd be the one to set things right, Avatar. Bless you, my boy. We are in your debt. Would you like to take a look at my wares? Not right now. No, thank you. I'll be going now. Could I take that arrow that's on the floor? The answer is yes. Can I take this one? Yes. And this one. And this one. Excellent. Can I take this bow here? Apparently I can, which is good, because I'm probably going to sell it. Can't take that, though. How much will you take for this bow that I literally took from that crate over there? What's yours? I knew you'd be the one. Would you like to? I'd like to sell things. I would like to sell some items. Mm, actually, can't sell that here. Anything else? Well, the real least, I can't sell it if it's on that bar. No, thank you. I'll be going now. Let's see if I move it off the bar, if I'll be able to sell it to you. Let's find out. Also, should probably equip this shield. There we go. I knew you'd be the one. Would you like? Let's let's try it now. I would like to sell some items. No, we can't sell Anything it. Anything else then? Fair enough. No, thank you. I'll be going now. Maybe someday you'll get off that slope, but I somehow doubt it. Put that over. Oh. Put that there. Nope. Put it down here, maybe? There we go! We were able to put it down. Now, let us head back to the boat. Maybe you just have to move closer. Maybe that is how they open. Or maybe I'll never truly figure out the mystery that is getting through that door. We're done here for now, though. That is the seventh virtue restored. There is only one left to restore. And there's a minor problem with restoring it, and that is that we need to use the Moon Gates to get to the Shrine of Spirituality. And they aren't working properly. This is going to be tricky. But not impossible. Not impossible. 
Right, I want to go to the south. Are there any islands to the south of, uh, Valoria? No, there isn't. I'm really curious as to where that shipwreck is, and we're going to search for it by going on the boat and piloting it ourselves. And showing you just how uh, finicky that is. Also, I'm glad the boat is actually here. Sometimes the boat can be in a very odd position somewhere over there. Let's jump. And let us uh, save before we have this conversation because it's going to be an interesting one. How did it go? Fine. The shrine's been cleansed. Good. We're almost there. You've only got one more shrine left to cleanse. Yes, but how do I get to it? The only way to get to the Shrine of Spirituality is through a moon gate, and I can't use that moon gate until I cleanse the shrine. Well, word is out that Lord British wants to see you. Why don't you go talk to him? Maybe he'll have a suggestion for you. Look, I know that this is a bad time, but I need to ask you something. About us. Go on. What do you need to ask me? Like I said, I know that this isn't the best time, but I just want to know what's going to happen once this is over. What do you mean? Well, it's not like you have a history of sticking around this place for very long. I just want to know if there's going to be something between us once you've gotten rid of the Guardian. I can handle whatever happens, I just... I just want to know what to expect. Honesty is the best policy here. We have no idea what's going to happen. And it's best to be upfront about that. Raven, I've got to be honest. I don't know what's going to happen. I appreciate your honesty, Avatar. You could have just told me something to make me happy. But I'd rather know that you respect me enough to tell me the truth. Not just say something that you think I want to hear. Alright, I guess we'll just see what happens and try to figure it out then. As for now, I guess we need to get you to Britain. Where would you like to go? We don't want to go anywhere right now. Never mind. I've changed my mind. But it's good we've had that conversation. There is a shipwreck here. I doubt that's the one I want to go to. There isn't a, uh... There isn't a treasure chest here, is there? There's a weapon, but nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Right, so that is not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is a shipwreck to the south of the island. So let us, uh, get in the boat again and sail it ourselves. We don't take the, uh, the wheel or anything like that. To be fair, I, uh, don't actually see a wheel that we can, uh, use. What we do is we, when we get on the boat, we click it, and suddenly we are in control! We do get some nice music. And now, we can sail it as we wish. Very slowly. Like this. It doesn't quite have the awesomeness that Boats in Ultima 7 did. But I do like the music. The music is neat. Also, we get to see all of the uh, lines in the sea. And the shores go really wavy and weird. Now, where is this boat? I don't know where this boat is, but we're gonna have a look for it. All we need to do to get back onto the boat is, uh, click on it. So we could, for instance, uh, disembark here by pressing escape to bring us back. And then we jump into here, if we can. Uh, game. I want to jump into the water, there we go, and just have a quick look around. Nothing here that I can see. Really nothing here that I can see. Hmm. Oh, also, this is, uh, this is lose health really quickly area. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! And thus the Avatar drowned. Bleh. And then the game crashed. I was expecting it to happen in Valoria rather than around it, but it's not unheard of for it to crash pretty much anywhere. I'm very fortunate, in fact, that I've got this far in the game with it crashing only a few times. 
and I think I'm actually going to hold off on my search for that really powerful bow. Searching via sailing in the boat is very time consuming, and while it is a very powerful weapon, the most powerful bow in terms of roll power in the game, it does cost you health every time you fire a shot. I think it's meant to be combined with the armor of the troll so that you regen health while you're firing, but I think I'll be okay with YOLO's bow. With that decided, let's go back to Britain and speak with Lord British. Britain. We could have sailed ourselves, but it's a lot faster to have Raven do the sailing for us. Let's hope that Lord British has some good news for us. Perhaps he's found a way to uh, stop the moons from crashing into the planet. Here's the hoping. We also need to drop some stuff off, and we also need to uh, take some stuff with us. Stuff you may not think we need. Hello! You really, really should move from there, but if you want to stay there, I suppose I can't stop you either. We also want to sell some of our gems, and by some of our gems, I mean all of them. Because we are a bit strapped for cash. Hello! Started to stand there now. I'm not surprised, this game can get a bit peculiar the longer you play it. I'm surprised some of the uh, guards haven't clipped into walls in Britain by now. That can happen too. Especially uh, the way that leads to pause. That guard there likes getting stuck in walls. Hello! Look at what you just did! Did you not see that pile of dirt? You just kicked and spread it all over! That I did! Aren't I terrible? Also, I've just realized that you're not actually on the ground. You are floating very slightly above the pavement. Okay, Street Cleaner is confirmed to be a super powerful wizard. No wonder they don't fire her. She probably turned them all into toads. Also, that chicken just popped into existence. Ah, Ultima 9. What do we want to drop off? Probably the, uh, the rune and the sigil, as well as a couple of other things. We should also, while I'm thinking about it, put the, uh, this here, like that. Do we need the Tome of, uh, the- Ooh! Ooh, before I go. I need to, uh, pass over some bad news. Almost forgot about this. After all, we have been to Valoria, and we know what happened to that person. I hope she takes the news well, I re- Is that a brigand? Really? Are you just taking a drink? Well, now you're gonna try and have at me, and it's not gonna work. And that's why it's not going to work. Oh, I'll take your gold! And be on my way. Hello. What is it, good sir? I came across your son's journal while I was in Valoria. I'm sorry, but he's dead. The last words that he wrote were to you. Thank you, sir. I wish with all my heart that he were alive, but at least now I know what became of my dear Jordan. May good fortune always follow you. We did a good thing, and if you'll notice there, that moved up a tiny bit. That moved up a tiny bit. First time we've ever seen that happen. Or rather, the first time I've noticed. Also, we aren't handing that over? Alright then, I'll just leave that there. Also, can I hold on to that key just in case I ever find that chest? Chances are low, and even if I do, Chances are lower still that the bow is actually going to be there and it won't have clipped into oblivion. But I may go search for it at some point. Now let's go to Castle Britain and go speak with Lord British. He'll be on the throne, eagerly awaiting our arrival with critical news that he wants to share with us. And I hope there's a piece of black rock in our room because if there isn't, I'm gonna have to go get some. Won't be that difficult though. Hello! Hello! Uh oh. Um. Where's Lord British? Where did he go? This isn't good. Um. Do you know where he went? Found a note from Blackthorn? Thank the virtues that you're here. 
Lord British read this note that was meant for you. He left to confront Blackthorn in the Abyss. I tried to talk him out of it. I tried to tell him that it was your job to handle things like this, but he wouldn't listen. He just said that it was time to take a stand himself. He is the king. He shouldn't be foolishly risking his life like this. To be fair, he is quite powerful. Well, let's give this a read. My dear Avatar, after all of this strife, it is time, finally, for us to bring this dispute of ours to a conclusion. If you're truly the hero of Britannia that you claim to be, meet me in the Abyss so that we may end this matter once and for all. You have escaped my grasp once, and I won't let it happen again. I do wish you luck getting to the Abyss, however, as you will find the Isle of the Avatar has been rendered invisible to mere mortals such as yourself. You will also have no luck getting information from those pathetic followers of spirituality in Scarabray, as my master, the Guardian, has already wiped it off the planet. Feel free to check it out for yourself. Yours, Blackthorn. Do you not know that I was there when he did that? Or to be fair, actually, you won't, because you weren't there when it happened. Either way, this is a bad turn of events, and so, when we come back, folks, we have to find a way into the Abyss to help Lord British, because he's a very capable wizard, very powerful. I mean, he managed to get to Cesaria well before we did. But Blackthorn is powerful too, and he'll have definitely set a trap. And so, our journey has only got even more perilous. I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.